Well, it's time for uh, another uh, opening of a vlog. Uh, we're a little late today. It's uh, 11.30. And this is the vlog for Wednesday, August 19th. And what happens is when you're taking breaks as your sleep breaks, part of your, if you're working a 24-hour day, and part of your breaks, part of your, your, your schedule, and it's not in a continuous schedule. You always get up and do something in between. Uh, your sleep shifts. It doesn't remain the same, and that's what's happening now, is what's going on now, the reason why things are moving forward, you're seeing the time shifting a little bit. Well, actually, a significant bit. It's because uh, when I'm sleeping shifts, so I don't have a what they call a standard bedtime or a standard uh, morning time, or you know, you have these morning routines and night routines. I don't have that. That went years ago. Uh, when I started doing this this twenty four seven the twenty four seven thing, uh, because the the observation and the research required it. Uh, when I was sleeping and when I was awake, shifted. And it shifts actually naturally with the body. I don't. I, I was trying to force it into a particular rhythm, but it never worked. So now I just let it float wherever it wants to go. That's what I do. It's it's it's, it's really up to my body. When my body says I'm tired, you rest, or and then you, you and you actually create a down day, where you don't where. You you don't schedule in work for that particular day. You just have the necessities. You do the necessities, and that day is your down day. And this this comes up as watching the Leroy's, uh, and everyone now is in back to school mode. And that's what's happening is even though I'm in back to school mode because I'm I don't have the full study schedule that I di that I did uh, from September to uh, to May. Uh, I don't have that full schedule, but still work is being done, research is being done, the observational work has to be done. The, in other words, my subjects are there 24, uh, around 7 days, uh, uh, 365 days, it's their year round. It's just what happens in the summer, the workload in terms of the studying isn't as intense as it is during uh, the September to, uh, to May routine. I said I'd take two months off in in the winter for uh, December and January. Uh, again, not off entirely, but you get you 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 pull back on your schedule in terms of what you have planned. And this allows for you to it, 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 when you pull off the schedule when you have a down day. What ends up happening, it allows you to catch up on things that you're behind on. And you always end up behind, you can never be up on everything. You're always going to miss something on your schedule. If one thing is going well, something else is going to be off. And it's really, a, it's really an issue of, you know, in a way, it's time management. How do you manage, manage your schedule for the day that determines whether you're successful or not? And even if you have a little bit of success, that's good because that's a down day. But the thing is, is you're always going to run into challenges. You're always going to run into uh, uh, things that are particular. And what happens in my situation, and this is what puts me back in the tween category, uh, back in middle school for life, is you never, because you're always pushing the edge or the boundaries of knowledge, you're never in a, you're never really in a, a position or a situation where you're comfortable. You're not as elementary as, you know, let's say you know, uh, 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 elementary school. You know, what happens in elementary school, or what we call primary, the grades one to, one to three, that's very, that's very elementary. That's very, you know, primary. You're still, you're really wet behind the ears. There's not a lot of knowledge there. It's usually in grade three on up, grade three to grade, grade eight. That's when your, your, your learning potential really explodes. And you have that sort of infinite knowledge capacity, the, the, the infinite capacity, where you can do anything you want to do. After grade 8, it begins to start to trail off. It trickles down to decide, okay, what do I want to do? And usually by grade 8, so people have an idea of what they want to do, what, what they want to be in life. That 
what you want to be is a defined position, a defined knowledge. I'm going to be A, and that whatever that A is going to be is defined. The problem is grade three to grade eight. That's your tw that's your, that's your, uh, your 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 tween years. Uh, it's undefined. You won't really know what you want to be. It, it, it hasn't formed yet. It begins to form in grade nine, and does continues to do so as you, as you go to higher higher grades, and particularly after university or say college. That's where that's around around twenty one, twenty two. That's when things start to solidify. And then, then you become an adult. That's what makes you an adult. What makes you an adult is your definition of what you are. If you have no definition of what you are, because you've stepped into an infinite knowledge, you've stepped back into the tween existence, and that's where I am. So how are you at whatever physical age you are, when you end up back in the tween situation, what do you do? This is my result, this is my existence, and my choice was, well, since everything is infinite, you can't control anything, but you can control what you do. I'm fundamentally the surfer. Rather than surfing waves, I'm surfing life. Other people are more buttoned down and defined, but my life is not buttoned down and defined. It's open, expansive, and so therefore, you need to be the surfer. Well, it's uh, which is about twenty past two, and just finished at the good bits. And guess what? Uh, earlier, um, the uh, delivery man, the uh, bail, brought a little gift, so it's unboxing time. I do a lot. I do a lot of my shopping online. So let's see what we got. Oh, cool! It's an ice cube tray. It's a large one. I can do produce a lot of ice cubes with this. So, if I want a cold, if I want a cold drink, or it's not cold enough for me, I can have ice cubes. So that's a good thing. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm now at the Good Bitch Channel, and I often find these uh, these channels uh, because someone recommends them. And so you, uh, they've recommended another channel that I'm going to go check out just uh, in a few minutes, and uh, thought I'd stop by and say hey. Unpackaging. Well, it's time to end the vlog at 8 a.m. on Thursday, August 20th. And as you're noticing, the time is shifting. And this is what happens to my day it shifts. Uh, when I'm awake, when I'm asleep, changes. Uh, just about every two, three weeks, the, it will stabilize for a bit, maybe a week or so. Then it starts starts fluctuating, and that's what you'll notice that you know, it's gonna it, it will get to a point where it stabilizes for maybe a week or so, and then it will start shifting again. It really depends on what ha what's happening and what's going on in the environment. Uh, that's what determines when I go to sleep, how much I sleep, how much how much I don't get to sleep. And since since we're going back to school in September, things are going to get worse in terms of the the workload. Uh, it usually takes me about a month to get back to school properly. Uh, so it will start off in September very slowly. September September first will start very slowly, and throughout the month it will get more and more and more. You know, it, the workload will increase. As I get used to the increase in workload, it's not that the workload doesn't is doesn't or isn't already here. It just kind of shifts. Uh, the Yali vlogs, uh, that's where I was. I'm heading towards the uh, Family Five vlogs now. Um, uh, they were cleaning out their garage. <laughs> uh, Allie to fit her new car and did part of a large chunk of the cleaning. 
uh, and now there were all these boxes left over, and so they decided once Allie started doing the clan, they that they sort of got the idea to continue on and sort of finish cleaning the garage. Now it's a five car garage, and before uh, Allie started cleaning it, they couldn't get any cars in there. Uh, now they got one car in there, a small car, Allie's car. And they've got another three cars out on the driveway. So there's always there's always places, no matter how big your place is, you have enough stuff that there's always one room, or at least or more than one room, that becomes the junk room that where you just toss things in. You don't have the time to properly pack it up or throw it away or, or deal with it. And so you, you you have to have a place to put it to the side. And a lot of times, as life moves on, in, in terms of your daily life. Uh, there's not always the time to go clean it, and, and this is certainly true here. My place is kind of small in comparison, and uh, there's a lot of functionality that I have to get out. So a lot of places are multifunctional. But what happens is as it becomes multifunctional, uh, as one project clears out, another one comes in. And so what happens, after every project, there's a cleanup. And when a new project comes in, there's a setup. So basically what I'm doing now is I finished the assembly work for the scooter. I've got some repair work to do on it. There's always some adjustments that need to be made. <clears throat> but at the same time, I have to clear off a space for it so that I can park it. And so that's what I'm doing now, a place that has a charging port, you know, basically your electrical port, and that's what I'm doing now. That's going to be the project for the next couple of days anyways uh, because I, order, I, I decide I'm ordering a new seat. And a new seat post, which it's easier to ma maintain uh, as a more comfortable seat. So that will take about that will take about a month to get here. So it's it's going to be another month before I'm using my scooter on a regular basis. I do have to do some uh, uh, adjustment work on it to, to to get it to function better, but that's can be done over the month. So the the necessities of getting things done quickly is gone. But now, in terms of some of the other stuff I've been working on, the necessity come, comes back in again uh, to get things going faster. But, uh, and this includes the uh, the editing bay, keeping the editing uh, flowing properly. I've been able to keep the editing flowing properly. Uh, but i got to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't fall off. That this is, But that's what happens. Projects always fall off. And every time you do a new project, it they always bring. There are always unexpected problems that pop up, and this is what uh, uh, the mom on Yahoo vlog. She's canning peaches. They got a whole bunch of peaches from their trees, and they got a lot of peaches, more than they expected. And the canning process didn't go as they, as expected, and uh, it's significantly slower than they intended it to be. And so they have to deal with that issue now. 